Hey everybody, Monty here, back playing some more free play Transport Fever, and we're watching the beef. And I'm having some beef with my shipping lines. I haven't been paying attention to them. And we're all putting together our train lines and getting our cities all set up and passengers are going everywhere all nice. I've even gotten the massive trench work done. So we're going to be watching our flight from Monty headquarters over to Las Vegas. That's going to be fun. But right now we have boat problems. I was like, what? What's going on? Why are there tools here? Why are there machines being transported? What, 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 what? There's some stuff going on with my ships. So we've got to rework some stuff, but here's, here's what I know. Here's what's happening. Is we have been going with automatic all the way, right? All of our vehicles have been going automatic, and that's the deal with SB Food Trucking. Now he's bringing food one way, and here's the great news, is now he's got something to do on the way back. Maybe this guy's gonna explain it. No, he doesn't have any right now, but he could be bringing back tools. Because what's happening is, is well, let's look at our lines here, and you can see our brand new machine tool line extension trucky thing here that we just set up from uh, Huntington Beach. Well, they started delivering it not just to this truck stop for the town, they are being delivered over to my dock. And then here's the crazy thing. The dock has then been, been here, it's been been, it's been picking it up from here. Ship one here has been picking it up and then taking them over here while trying to get some food. And then amazingly, these boats that are supposed to be bringing food to Fort Lauderdale, mm -hmm, a little bit more beautification have been done over here. Yeah, now instead of taking food back, usually, see now he's taking 21 tools. So things are out of control, out of hand. I've got to fix these things for onesies. We are... But it gave me good ideas, right? It gave me ideas of, wait a minute, we shouldn't just use food on the shipping lines. The problem is, is we've got these massive ships, and I wish they could, like, break up stuff. Like, for example, on the wheat and shipping, I have tools and I have food. But if a big boat comes here, it won't fill up with, like, half food and half tools. No, 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 no. It'll pick one, and then the others keep storing up. So, arg. Argy, argy, argy. We're going to have to figure out the cargo situation on these. First thing I want to do just to stop it, nip it in the butt until we can get it worked out, is I'm going to my south bend here. My trucks, where are they? I got to pull them up here. Trucks, these guys. South Bend Food Trucking. I am going to do replacements and we're going to say no uh -oh. we're going to go with 25% uh, not these guys we're going to set vehicle we're going to go with the Peterbilt and I've got some more Peterbilts uh, around the corner that we're going to show working the steel line now and we're going to say yes yes to these now details these guys that's five months old no this isn't going to work this is not going to work so we've got to do this the other way we're going to have to go with Gonna have to get aggressive here. SB food trucking. Visible only. Where are you? Food trucking. Sell all vehicles. And then we're gonna pause the game. We're gonna go to here. Buy vehicles. And we're gonna grab the Peterbilts, but I want to not go automatic. We're gonna go food. And say food and only food. Buy. Buy. And mm, buy. Let's get three of them on here. Uh, set line, where'd it go? Down, 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 everything. Oh, look at that, so many things named. A few things are not named. Oh, more stuff to talk about too. We're gonna be doing, oh wait, food by truck? Food, wait, what? Uh, 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 what is this? Hold on, there's some, let's see, lines. 
Lines uh, road only. What is Oh. That? Okay, okay, okay. Food by truck means that's actually the food by truck. Okay, going here. E, we should rename this, not S because uh, South Bend is SB. Food trucking and food by truck. That's that's confusing there. Anyway, this uh, forced change here, we can hit play, is going to make it to where they're going to stop delivering those tools and machines over to the dock, and hopefully that will just rework out our entire system. But how's the beach bunny doing? Looking good, my friend. 73 out of 180. That's probably starting to push into the green. Look at that. Green numbers all around. Now, if the numbers drop really all of a sudden like madness, that's because we got that big boy on the way. Don't you worry. It's just a $30 million train upgrade. So, things to do. Things to do. And we're going to get planes upgraded as well this episode. So I just had to start, because it's 1970, I had to fix this crazy wackiness with the boat lines. That's right, but let's uh, still go invisible only now, and let's just look at water and see what I've got going on. Just as a recap, okay, we've got our wheat and meat, okay, that's good stuff. Because now it's getting our wheat and our meat, dropping it off still, and then bringing a little bit of food back. Uh, so that's going to be fixed because he was bringing machines back. Which, good money in it, and it's, it's helpful. We're going to get this going. Now that I know this is possible, I'm going to get extra boats. And I will create a machine line and a tool line. And probably the same thing uh, going this way for Huntington Beach. Probably not so much because we're doing that by truck service. But Wichita Falls... And maybe we'll even hook up Pomona. And what about Fontana? I mean, so many things we got to start paying attention to. So we would have to rework this line here and uh, increase the bridge and change it so we could boat down this way. But there's, there's things that are possible. But I want to get back down into it, see how things are going. How are we doing? Look at this, the dirt liner getting some age on it looking good coming into town though so much going on so many trains a lot of decorating going on in 1970 these towns are starting to boom boomy 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 look at that oh yeah pull it in i'm amazed we still got 112 that means we are well supplying even these end cities on this fuel line probably would lose half of that Oh, well beyond. All the way down to 17, huh? I'm feeling bad for you, Wichita Falls. I'm feeling bad for you. But the Hiawatha's also doing well. we got to check in on him. The Texas Eagle now has been named. Looking a little rough. Ooh, that looks good with that logo on there, though. I'm not going to lie. It is finally, amazingly, just now starting to turn a profit. But 1969... I'll take a $1 million profit from a line that was just overly built out to look cool. Because remember, we actually put so many wagons on it that it barely fits onto the station. But it's doing well. So many cool things going on. Remember, follow me on Twitter, at DMonteRico. Now, more importantly, we need to get into the air. Let's check in our planes. And now, 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 where is it? Come on now. We've got... Las Vegas East, this guy's got to be retired because he was not in the right spot. We have oh, the Mile High Line, brand new airport, brand new, brand new, brand new, and also the Red Shirt Line. Where are you now? Packing in on the D4. The D4. We are coming around. Yes, this is going to be great. We are coming in around Eugene. Just remember, who we're still uh, bets are up. Who's getting the first skyscraper? And it's only 1970, and I got to say that that's a pretty big building. That's no skyscraper in my book, but that's uh, they're, they're getting started right downtown. Eugene.
Jean's up for the runnings now. Where's that plane? Going around wide. And you'll see way off in the distance in Irvine. This is actually not the airport we're flying to, even though it looks like it. That's the new, the new airline. Ready for some fun here. We're making sure. I'm looking at these, this train here. What's happening? Trains are waiting. Are you stuck? You're not stuck. He's waiting. You're filling up. He's gonna come around. Okay, these these guys are fine. We'll deal with them some other time. But we are going to be watching that 737. Here we go. Here's the new airport. Uh, 737, Boeing 737. It will be flying into Irvine momentarily. But right now we've got bigger things to worry about. Ooh. Now we're coming around. Will we be checking out? Yes, we are. Repeat. We're <laughs> flying over Eugene here. And we are flying into Monty Acres. Look at some of the work I got done. I threw up the screenshot last episode. But we are expanding out more. Lots of roads are not really functional, but we're not going to tell anybody. It'll be our little happy secret. And uh, we're going to be flying in here. Checking out all the tracks. Making sure everything's fine. And uh, secret note, we have a surveyor on this flight to build out a brand new highway system. It's going to be cutting right through Monty Acres. Stay tuned. The highway system might come next episode. Oh, yes, that guy took off. Just in time for us to get in here. Ooh, the West Rail West Fleet. And the Class 218. That's a oldie but a goodie. We might have to be throwing that on there. Ooh, nice little takeoff here. And we're getting a good, smooth landing on the brand new Monty Acres International Airport. Oh, yeah, it's looking fresh and so fine. We'll, we'll let him pull all the way around. We're going to check it out all the way. Taking it easy this time. We've been going a little build crazy. I like to try to go back and forth. Look at that. You see it? You see the Zephyr in the background? Right here. Ooh. Not gonna click on it, just let it let it go by. Keep an eye on it though. It's gonna be looking nice coming up right through the trees. And I believe that's our Austin plane flying off in the distance. There we go. There's our pioneer. Heading up to Concord. Getting the job done. Two of those. We've got twins, Tweedledee and Tweedledum on the, uh, what do you call it there? The Silver Surfer line? I don't know what we want to call that. I don't know! Figure it out, but look, looking much more modern. I mean, still kind of like a prison but we're not gonna we're not gonna complain it's a prison our airport got to keep the uh, everyone in check in Monty Acres but this does not look like a simple little farm anymore does it my friends got all kinds of depots we've got oh it's been done it has happened hold on we're putting aircraft three at the bottom we're gonna be keeping an, an eye on them while we hit up solid gold which needs a brand new name I'm going to let you guys just listen to it and enjoy it while I get this guy typed up. And Big boy. Ooh, looking good. Oh, look at all that train action. We're not going to be having those little Scotsmans much longer, but we've got to enjoy them while we can. But that's right, this is our brand new 4023 Big Boy on the food line, mega, mega line. We're going to be hauling a ton of goods, ton of grain, livestock, and food on the way back because, well, we might have to expand this food line a little bit more, but the solid gold was 45 years old at least. And uh, the big boy is in service, still trucking right along. But let's fly, do a quick fly around on the acres. Ooh, look at it. See all these roads, I built them all out just kind of for fun. Looking good, all to support the farm. 
the Phoenix Farm, which we're calling it. Oh, from back in the day. But overall, Monty Acres doing good. We are loving it. And yes, highway system getting built out. Going to be amazing. Also, not just here. So that's what I'm going to be doing is a Eugene up to Concord Highway line to test out our inner city highway system that we're going to be building. Let's get in here and watch this transition happen. I'm also going to be doing called the, uh, the Stargate Highway System. And it's going to be going all the way around the map. Like a huge, massive loop. Get it? Ha ha ha. Loop there. Stargate. And we're going to go connecting every exterior city on the map with a, a massive highway system. It's going to be really cool. Something just to give it that extra little flavor. You know how I got to do it. A little bit unique. A little bit special. Because... You know, you guys know how to build build out trains, and this isn't about how to build routes and stuff. This is about to showing off some really cool stuff and trying to push the game to the limits. But what I want to do here is I want to see him. Come on now. Come on, Scotsman. I want to see this guy fly by before we move on. Come on. Come on. We got places to be, tra other trains to watch. We got boat systems to make sure they're working. There he goes. Oh, yes. These guys are still hard at work, I, I hope. Let me see. Oh, I clicked on a person there. Oh, another person. 80 out of 120. Last time I checked on you, you were 119 out of 120, and I gave you a hard time, so I'm still not uh, happy with these guys. Also, they bunched up on this end of the line. One, two, three of the Scotsmans. All right here. Hmm... And these guys go all the way around to Huntington Beach. So we've got to figure out either we need to add two more trains, <laughs> which I think I'm, I'm very highly considering with how well that line does. What do we think? Five or six trains on that line? I've got sidings now put in all the way across on it. So that's all doing well. But I'm just really happy with how everything's doing in Huntington Beach. Like I said, this episode's more about just, like, watching everything. Just kind of seeing how things are going. Look, our, our Texas Eagle's already coming back. Oh yeah. Things are going well. But I want to show you the start of that Stargate Highway. I connected two cities in the corner to get it kick-started. And what I'm going to be doing probably every episode is extending it out. So we got to go all the way. Not to Irvine. That's the airplane side going on here and hold on let me throw a pause down i had a whole thing on the red shirt is it in las vegas oh it's already in las vegas i missed it again i wanted to show the trench off so we are going to show the trench off before the end of this episode because that's the big that's the big show off the big screening here oh are you gonna oh no you're just parking uh, hold on. I'm going to turn around and you'll get a little glimpse of it, okay? We're not going to fly through it yet. Where is it? Ooh, there's the trench in the background. The Monty Trench. And that's just trench number one. So here's the thing to keep in mind if you're going to go crazy like me, which I hope you don't, and build these trenches is when you upgrade or change your plane, it's going to have a little bit different of a flight path. So if I put a 737 on this line now, it's going to change that up just a little bit. Uh, so what I've done to take care of that is you go to your replacements and you force replace the same plane. So even after this plane expires, it's all good news. And I have the trench set up for the DC line. So the DC-3 worked and the DC-4 will work. So remember, all arrows point to Vegas. So let's do a quick check on our boats, though. And uh, again, again, distraction, distraction. I want to make sure everything's going all right. I think these tools and machines will just sit here forever. Forever. My boats might slowly pick them off. And oh no, we have boat madness pulling in at the dock here. We've got some trouble. These big boats just can't handle it. Now, see, I mean, if the planes do extra loops and do all kinds of cool stuff as we see the beach bunny go off in the distance, you know, I'd like to see, I know it would slow it down, I'd like to see this other ship just hold off a little bit and let this guy dock. But, you know, whatever, if they got to crash into each other, they're going to crash into each other. That is what it is, and I had to do some connections out here with all the plants and trees just to 
Make it not look like a square in the middle of nowhere. Things to do, places to see. Oh, also, good comment on the train right here. Uh, you guys made the, the comment of the, the little, what I put on here as like a fake caboose, which truly is capable to haul goods and tools and stuff, will indeed slow the entire train down as its max speed is slightly slower than everything else on that line. So something to keep up with since this train is such a small line right here. I think that's, uh, it's okay. But there is something I just did with this that you guys need to know about. This line right here, line 16. Well, it doesn't just go to South Bend like it did last episode. It now stretches on out to Phoenix because that was just one more place I needed to get machines and tools. So basically now we're going to be supplying machines and tools to one, two, three cities on this... Uh, well, not on this train line. Two cities on the train line, one city by truck. But once we get boating going, that's going to cover one, two, and maybe three or four more cities. But we got to wait for our production to increase when that's happening. And as you can see, we've got to get our machine production up so we can get an upgrade going here. So these things are all important. Uh, also, here he is. Let's showcase him off right now. And then we'll hit up the highway, and then we will see the trench. It's all happening. Mega episode 1970, but the Peterbilt, who is on the steel built line. Yes, the steel built. Mm-hmm. It ain't no Optimus Prime, but this is actually, I guess, would be, whoa, the model after. This is a Peterbilt, I do believe. Anyway, that's off the subject, but I just have a few of these guys hauling steel over from our steel factory which is getting coal and everything just fine from our train line things are happening things are happy so i gotta look at the details here and see what i'm short on i'm short on my planks what's up with my planks man i got plank problems right right where are they oh here it is he's just coming out from that underground passageway which yes I believe in some of your comments that is extremely dangerous <laughs> what happened there we are couldn't handle the squeaks and the turns we're dropping down if it looks like he's doing fine though I mean talk about full up on logs 130 out of 130 and the station was still uh, still packing so, room for more. This is definitely a train that has so much that I do believe I'm going to have to do like a... Hmm. Maybe here's not a good spot. No, maybe here is a perfect spot. Uh, here's what I want to do is put a siding here. Non-electric, because that's the uh, how the other one is right here. And we're going to double this up now that it's... Uh, hooked up and now that we're hooked up to so many cities we got to get more planks and we got to get those planks in as soon as possible but look it all comes back around as you can see there is our tools and everything wrapping all the way back around hitting up this area which is of uh phoenix i shouldn't just call it this area it's phoenix wow it's already 1972 Time is a flying, and I want it to stop here. I don't want the train to stop this way. That's going to be good. Uh, I'm going to let the train hit this up. I will buy this train later and, and get that going. What I just want to get that set up so we know what's going on. Little place marker. And what I want to do is high speed. Oh, there you go, red shirt. We're going to be landing at Monty headquarters back around again. And we did pick up one person which is pretty cool this time first person mode and you can see we're pretty well timed with that plane going to Austin I bet he got in our way again again but we're totally holding off the highway until next episode that's going to be massive 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 I'll like I said I'm going to show you the little bit in the corner that I got going on 
That's where I've been teasing it the whole time, but we're going to do it, I promise. And next episode, we're going to be building the highway out from Eugene to Concord. And also probably really getting some expansion on the Stargate Loop. Which you don't even know about, but you will, you will. But also, I know some of you guys have been, like, waiting for more. And just, you can't get enough free play mode. And if you want, like, little snippets and behind-the-scenes things, make sure to join me. Either Transport Fever Nation, I don't like overwhelming another page like that with uh, my screenshots and videos, but definitely the Monte Rico Gaming Elite Facebook group. I post a lot of the pictures of some of the things that I'm working on in this video series before I'm able to actually edit and upload and do all that, so if you like little teasers of what's up, what's up and coming in free play mode, make sure you're tuned in. Join the groups and share some of your own content. Really seen some cool cities. You guys are playing well into the future. Well into the future. It's been pretty cool. But we're gonna go full speed, flip around, pick people up, grab them here. Ooh. Hold on. We have got to zoom out here. We got six people ready for the trench ride. So welcome along. I'm glad you guys are here. We're going to do a little external view for the takeoff here. Speed up for our flip around taxi. And we are off. Let's go. Let you guys enjoy this one. Zoom on in here. Megan is rounds, and I'm glad to see that with the big boy upgrade already done that now, which was a 30, that's a 30 million dollar train right there. So you guys are where's all my money going? It's going into new trains every five years or so. And the more trains we get, the more upgrades we get. However, all these planes and trains and all these good things are all making good money now. So as we fly towards the trench, do a quick little rundown. Now we're hurting on our planes, of course, now. I've been messing around a lot, and I've been putting big planes on routes that aren't really set up properly yet, but we're going to get it going. Don't you worry. Things are booming. Right after the 1950s, as you can see, my cities are just really starting to fly out there. Even our Concord lines are getting good again. A four-minute wait. That's nice. 2.2 million coming in. But some trams are doing eh. All our trucking lines are doing really well. Uh, Fargo food is is finally on the decline. I need to sell all these and throw a few Peterbilts on there. Uh, maybe the Mads. Our food from Phoenix to Eugene. This little side truck train problem. Well, I got to do some work on him. And I think I want to extend that food line out some more. I've got to really work on Monty Acres again. And get it all going. Let's get into first person mode here. Here we go. This is actually the first time I have flown through the trench after I've fully decorated it. So we'll see how it goes. And I'm going to keep working on these mountains as I get additional plane lines coming in here. The Gambler needs some work. And also our brand new Irving, Irvine line. I'm going to show off 737. But it does still fly into the mountain, but it won't after this episode. I'm going to make sure I got another trench here. But this is so close. Watch it here. Watch how close we get little external view just to show you oh oh it's just no joke we get close and then we're in first person mode here rocked up like crazy there we go there's our shadow textures here we're gonna turn in don't you don't you worry it looks like we're gonna crash into the side here oh that's awesome we put in a lot of time on this mountain so it's good to see that we're not going through it and right through look at that lined up that's Vegas, baby. Right in front of us, we got the runway going here. We're gonna land this. It's gonna be smooth. How cool. Awesome, awesome. Look at that with the shadows and all. That was 
to fly through the trench. Now we're going to be featuring probably a brand new airplane going through this trench. That's how we're going to feature the airplanes, right? Going through mountains. But I did promise I was going to show off the 737, so it's not complete yet. It does actually hit this part of it. Oh, look at that LV Las Vegas right there. Boom. Smooth landing. Hope everyone liked it. Everyone still made the, the full flight, which is good, but let's hit that 737 now. I've been teasing it long enough. Irvine North just landed. Finally, the sound of a jet. Robert, thanks again. Made the made the logo possible. Ooh, hold on. I like that flyby compared to following it. We're gonna get a nice little view here. We'll watch him come in. Hopefully this will work out right here. Get a good little view, get a little surround sound action on him as he comes in. No one's waiting for him yet. This is a brand new line. I actually set it up moments before I pressed the record button. But I wanted to get this 737 down and the brand new airport and show it off. Oh, here we go. And I'm loving all the comments coming in as far as the series suggestions that are coming out. Going to be some cool stuff happening. Wow, he really pulls in there. And uh, custom maps, things like that. Keep those things coming. I'm watching the, the mods are really hitting hard on the workshop. I'm really loving it. I'm going to get those kicking and started. But uh, also I'm going to get a total vanilla series going where maybe we do some achievement hunting. Uh, because I, I still had... Train fever achievements I didn't get because I, as soon as mods came out, I started playing around with that and stuck with my series, which always had some kind of mod one way or another. But uh, I want to watch this guy take off. So many cool things happening. But we built, what, one siding that we're not even using? For the most part, this episode's been all about looking at all the cool new stuff that came out, and I finally have money to buy it all. And we've made... 40 million almost just watching watching planes that's what i gotta do every once in a while stop spending and start watching all right here we go for the takeoff and zoom in watch it right from the bottom a little to the side since we're at the edge of the map Bank over. There it is. I gotta admit, man, you're looking a little beat up for being like brand new. Oh, you're you are two years old. Sorry, did I say I bought you right before the record button pressed? Uh, no. Two years ago, I bought this guy. Looking a little shabby for a brand new 737. <laughs> oh my! Three years though. You guys need some better repair maintenance on that. Or you gotta get a better paint vendor. This guy's gonna do a complete flyover. There's Eugene. There's Miami. Bonnie Acres. Wow, we got them all named and down. Ontario. There's the Ontario Airport right there. We got Phoenix down to our left. Nice flying by right here. A little South Bend action. Huntington Beach coming in. So some design tips if you guys like them. I would, uh, I was finding these weird little just texture changes in the ground in the colors of greens and kind of treating certain ones as like swamp areas. And that's kind of where I'm starting to slowly add bushes and such. And here, you guys, I'm going to show it to you. I said, I said I wasn't, but I'm going to show you how it's not working so you guys get the before and after effect. This guy takes a wider path out. Still a fun path here. But he's going to be coming into the mountain, I think, a little wide. And uh, I'm going to have to do another trench, which actually is, I'd like to do a few trenches in here, whether used or not just so the mountain doesn't look like, hey, what's up with this one big mountain with this one trench through it? Do a total rebuild on these mountains. 
So that whole mountaintop will kind of blend into that trench on the right. Lots of trees. We'll get those bushes to change that brown texture there. But you're going to see this guy go through the mountain just a little bit. But what's going to be nice is he actually comes through this in that secondary trench, which still works fine. So you guys are going to still get the underground view. And what I need to find with the rocks is maybe a mod of rocks that are actually like full round rocks. But as you see here, you hit the secondary part of the trench. Because I know these rocks are meant to be placed like on more of a flat surface. So that's why they're kind of jetting out. They kind of remind me of, uh, I don't know, some weird like tree fungus or weird mushrooms or something growing off the side of a tree. But anyway, it looks pretty cool. Here we've made it back down into Las Vegas. Loving these new planes. We're going to watch them pull in for a landing right here. Boom. I'm calling that a win. Well done, aircraft number five. Now promised all the way, we're going to fly past Austin here. We're going to keep going through the wind and clouds. Looks like, oh, do a quick check. Stone, you're slacking. Construction materials, you're doing good. Pomona, you need some help. And did you guys see this? Did I show this off last episode? I totally might have completely forgot. I built this little tiny tram, not tram, train transfer with a brand new electric line here. He goes, he goes a little slow because uh, the power, the power is low on this thing and he's really meant to just be like his own vehicle. But you know me, I'm going to throw some wagons on. And I gave Pomona a crossover and a connection right up to the, the Austin airport. So this is actually boosting the Austin to Monty headquarters. Plus, it's really building out the industrial park that we all love so much. At least I do. I thought this was really cool. Just meant to be a, a screw up from elevation here. And you know me, I'm going to come in and throw down some bushes, and clean it all up, and throw down some trees. This has been the mission of being distracted from getting to the highway in the corner. Because it's in so far of a corner, I never go there. It's cities that have been abandoned. Oh, see, I missed it. Overland Park. Have you even heard of Overland Park in Hampton? Not in this series, but you have now. Because they're home to the brand new... Stargate Highway System. What are we calling it? What are we calling it? Visible only. Uh, all the Stargate Highway. Very original, but even cars are using it now. But we're gonna, it's got all GM fishbowls, which is one of my favorite looking buses in the game. Really digging it right here. And I've given it bus lanes. Now you're gonna wanna do this. Because no matter what, if you put a six lane highway out here and you don't put bus lanes on here, the buses and the cars all take one lane, and traffic is traffic. But right now, you can see cars kind of spreading the love. Buses just hanging out on their own. And welcome to a completely new part of the map, everybody. Hampton. Hampton, Hampton. We're going down there. Hampton Central is going to be our bus stop. So as you can see right now, it's just a city-to-city -city bus line. There goes one of his friends. There's five buses on this line right now. And I love myself some city-to-city -city bus lines, and I figured let's make it massive to where it's actually going to count as a massive loop. Uh, so, and I'll have buses going in both directions of the loop. It's going to be awesome, it's going to be cool, and it's all going to be a raised highway, with the exception of certain drop-downs into the city. But it's all to make it cool, and you guys, you don't even know. Next episode, we're going to be doing some really fun stuff in Monty Acres. Uh, with highways such as this just because you know when I see something I can't help it and I love the new bridge systems in this game uh, Just like uh, the train bridges now you can ramp onto them while they're actually just hanging out and sitting here and uh, I can't help but just keeping keeping an on adding on and adding lines and beautifying and doing weird things so as you can see, we've got some cool stuff here, and I cannot forget, because I forgot the last two episodes. Now that we've showed this off, and I'm about to say goodbye, 
We're going to fly past Austin, and instead of ending as we usually do, or in my mind as we usually do, in Monty Acres, we are going to jump on the Texas Eagle, and we are going to train our way back to Huntington Beach to check out a very special first-named tram station, the Christian R. Plaza. But we're going to go check it out. And the Hiawatha is showing us the way. I just wanted to see, how is he doing? Will he fill up? We've got quite a few people at the station. How many people get off here in Wichita Falls? And how many are all the way 100% saying, hey, I'm going to Huntington Beach. I don't care what. Oh, only like 10 people got off. That's not too bad. And then we're all the way up to 82 people. I will take those numbers. Now, we should be probably running this train two or three wagons shorter. But I'm loving those big trains. Just like we added the big boy. We added the 737. We did so much. But we still got time to come down here and chill out. This is the tram station I forgot to show. The Christian R. Plaza. One of a, a longtime great viewer. Thanks for always commenting. When you guys show some love, I show some love back. And you guys become part of the series yourselves. And... This place is, oh no, people are building. Oh, that's not good. I'm going to blow you guys up, just so you guys know. I had to do some cool stuff here. Uh, this exchange right here, I added this road to make it sure all these buildings were covered. I did the same thing on this end with this station. I had to add this little crossover road, and it included all these buildings. So big time, ch little or little changes can make big time effects, I guess is the takeaway here. Anyway, thanks so much for tuning in, guys. Again, this is epic. Train number 12 is epic. Oh, man, free play. I'm loving this stuff. But I, 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 I'm going to get back into the campaign. I think the next thing I'm going to do, I'm even getting requests. Oh, Monty, why don't you do the Europe campaign? Man, I got to get the America campaign in check. But I've been wanting to hang out here in the free play mode, have some fun, showing it off. And uh, I, I think things are going to go well. I'm going to do some cleaning up. I will bring you guys back probably closer to 1980. And I'm also getting comments. And I, 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 this is, I'm, I like to talk back to the comments in the video, not just in the comments. Uh, but getting requests for, of course, a series where I don't skip around and do too many things like that. And uh, uh, trust me, there will be series of many flavors coming around here. Ooh, this is cool. But I can't show all the building and show all the nice enclosed things and kind of explain things and do all those things. So that's why we're going to have multiple series. And uh, I am, of course, probably going to do a series on maybe a little bit of a smaller map. And one's going to be like a tutorial series, and like my 101 series, that's how my YouTube kind of got started, was on Train Fever 101. And now that things are all improved, we can really move along. I might even have more of like a cinematic series where it's not about building at all, it's just about showing the lines, maybe doing like news flash updates of the different lines. Oh, there goes our food Peterbilts in the background. Man, there's so much going on. Planes and trains and boats. And hopefully, we'll get our shipping in order. So you guys comment below, because as you can tell, I like to listen to you guys' comments. But I would like to see what you guys would like to see with this series right here. What do you guys want to see in the next upcoming few years? Uh, because I'm going to be doing a little bit of the America campaign probably this next week. And uh, hopefully, if you guys are in America, happy Thanksgiving. And you guys have a great holiday week. I will be playing some games and uploading videos throughout this holiday week so we will see some cool things happening you guys all stay tuned keep on training transport fever training monty acres here we come <laughs>